What up it's you for today's video with a Charizard Sweep G Max. Now it's quite funny, this is one of the almost last G Max sweeps that I have to get through. I'm gonna be doing Charizard G Max tonight with a physical set. So we got the abilities as Blaze and Solar Power. So there is three more G Max Pokemon I have to complete after this. I've done all of them and I will be putting them up on my channel this week and possibly the next one too. I tried to go for a weaker Charizard set with some fun moves, and it worked out pretty well. This was done live on my Twitch. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, that's where I do all my live streams for my theme teams, Pokemon sweeps, and all other forms of salty entertainment. There was a double upload tonight with a theme team too, so make sure you check that out. It was the alphabet letter W team, so go check that out as well. Enjoy. I've got an idea. I mean, Charizard actually isn't all that bad against it. If I can get... A speed boost up with flame charge. That's gonna be the um the key here. Oh, a Turntus as the lead. Not really the lead that I want to see, but uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so a turns uh, what I can do is I can paralyze this. That that's a good start. So let's go ahead and paralyze a Turnitus. And then I'll drop the web down. And that's gonna help Charizard out immensely, right? And I should be able to outspeed the entirety of the opponent's team. Which is a good start. I mean, it's definitely not a done deal, but it's a good start. Okay, this will go um, Dynamax, Cannon, or Flamethrower. One of the two. Here comes the uh, predictable Flamethrower here. All right, I've got that Sash there. Now I'm just going to drop Web down, and then I might, dug I might actually dug Trio this kid with the Memento, and then set a Belly Drum up. Or well, maybe I should... Oh, oh, no. I should sand attack it. I'm going to sand attack it because my Charizard's got Bright Powder. And then I'll sand attack, sand attack, sand attack, sand attack, sand attack. Six times. Yeah. Memento. They won't be able to swap because Arena Trap. And then send Charizard. And even if they swap, I'll get a free Belly Drum. Then it's free real estate. I think I'm calling this right now. I've got this sweep. This is a sweep. I'm calling it right now. I played the whole battle out in my head right now. I think I've got it. I don't think I, I don't think I can lose. Hopefully. Okay, so let's go ahead and start going for a sand attack here. This is the one. I feel this is the one for Charizard. I need to get lucky so I get a lot of sand attacks up though. Okay, paralyzed. Fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Let's go for another sand attack. You know, I could even go final gambit here. That would be better, but. I do want to drop a turn to you know, stats a little bit there in case I do get hit by an attack afterwards. A turn of beam! Okay, uh, like th th this is got a turn of beam flamethrower. I don't think it's used any other moves. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've uh, I've seen any other moves. No, I haven't. I I'd say it's got like a you know, sludge wave or something like that. Okay, uh, Holy Moly's going to be landing on one health there. That's cool though. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go for another sand attack here. So I can get two fresh sand attacks off on, on this. I can get six. This is pretty much free real estate if the uh, Eternatus is going to use a turn beam like that. So let's go ahead and do another one. Hopefully you just don't get a rage quit. Like that, that, uh, hopefully, hopefully not. I mean, they're well in the lead here, so they shouldn't rage quit. Wow, they landed another one. Okay, they're getting very lucky with their um, their attacks there. All right. I got quite a few sand attacks off anyway. That's not bad. Uh, not at all I can do here, really. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get this Charizard uh, sweep or not. I would have loved to have gone for a memento there, but it didn't, uh, it didn't happen. I need a miss, a paralyze. I need one of those two things. It's, it's a pretty good chance of it happening. All right, it's pop belly drum right now. Okay, got the I got the belly drum up. There's there's the paralyzed. There we go, people. Here we go. Now, this is bulky. This is very very bulky, right? So let's have a look at the rest of the team. We've we've got Kyogre's going to be a problem here, but I, I do have I do have a move that. So. I need to go for a dual wing break probably to take this out here. I'm going to go for max airstream straight off the bat. I'm not playing any games with this Eternatus at all. Let's get the sweep going. So everything I thought was going to happen, happened there. 
There was a very high chance that they would have missed their next move too, because I believe I got four sand attacks off against them. I got two, one, and then I got the um, I, I bright powder also as the item. Let's get this bread. All right, here we go. This is going to be still interesting. It's not a done deal, but it's going to be interesting. I have to go for the shiny... Uh, uh, sorry, I mean the normal Charizard, by the way. All right, getting that uh, Max Airstream up there. Dropped. Not even a not even a chance there. Now, we got the web down the field, right? I've got... Now, this is Adamant Nature, by the way. I decide to run Adamant over Jolly for more damage output. So, this is even going to be uh, hitting like, even harder than it normally would be, right? That's why I went for Flame Charge on this set. Just in case. Okay. Now, we're thinking about a major... Okay, we've got a sc another scummy Pokemon. It's a uh, Tapu Scum. All right. Jesper, and thank you for the pride for five months. Good luck on your battles today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're dropping that speed. The electrics... The electric is... You know, this is quite funny, right? Because that electric train's now in the field. That's going to power up my Max Lightning. It's beautiful. All right. Now, I've got G-Max Wildfire. Let's pop that, and let's pop that hard. Unless it's got a Focus Sash. All right, I've outsped it. It feels weird using... Uh, it feels weird using uh, a Charizard's G-Max move because that's not something I normally would do. All right, Tapu Coco is Tapu no more. That's two down. This is it, people. This is it. I might, they're either going to baby... But, oh, here's the Kyogre. I knew it. I knew it. But they, they've set themselves up with the, with the, the electric terrain because now all I can do is hit them with an electric type move here. Okay, the speed drop. They're like, okay, all I gotta do, little Timmy's just gonna Dynamax his Kyogre, right? That's what he's thinking right now. He's thinking, all right, I'll leave this next attack. I'll Dynamax my Kyogre and hit Charizard with a water time move. There's no way this Charizard can hit me, right? That's that's what they're thinking right now. All right, let's go for Max Lightning. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Okay, they, they didn't even Dynamax. Kyogre's down. That's dumb. All right, that's three Pokemon gone. They, they're done. What can they do? What can they do? All right. There's a Rillaboom. Will I take Rillaboom out with a Flame Charge in the rain? That's the... We've got Dual Wing Beat, though. Thank God I've got Dual Wing Beat. Um, I think they'll G-Max their Rillaboom. Oh, Zamazenta in the... Oh, my God. Will we take this out, though, in the rain? That's what I'm thinking. We'll be able to take this out in the rain. It's because they've just got a plus one in defense swapping in there. So I'm Adam of Nature as well, by the way. So... My best bet here would either to be go for a dual wing beat or a thunder punch here. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. So we got dual wing beat with uh, two hits of 40 base power. Or we've got a 75 base power thunder punch with a electric train on the field. I'm at plus six. Uh, they're a, they're, I'm actually at plus five with the damage calculation. Hmm. I mean, there's a good chance it can actually live. I might get a Paralyze. It's not stabbed though, that's the only thing. And it won't boost the Charizard since it's flying either. So I'm gonna have to go for a dual wing beat here, um, people. So we're not gonna get a boost out of that, come on. No, it wasn't enough, I knew it. I knew that it wasn't enough. So the Kyogre actually saved the, uh, it saved the, it used Wild Charge itself. It saved the, um, the Zama Zenith from, uh, fainting. Well, there you go, people. I think if I went for Flame Charge, it still would have lived. And the G-Max move took the Zama Zenter out. And little Timmy got his dub there. Okay. Ah, uh, there's, there's, there's no, there's no theme to this, though. I'm trying to get a, uh, I, I'm trying to get a, uh, a single sweep with one Pokemon. So I'm trying to get one Pokemon to wipe out the entire team. So, um... Oh, is that Flare? Oh, okay. Probably not the best matchup here. Flareon and Charizard. Um, I mean, Charis uh, Char Charizard can go for a flying type move. They may go for Protect and get their guts up. Um, I'm going to do a really, really risky play here. Let's go for Belly Drum. They may swap. They did swap. It's a, it's free real estate unless Intellia. Waylord. Okay. If I go, if I go for Max Airstream here, I'll take the Waylord out, and I'll be able to outspeed the Intellion and all the other uh, Pokemon there. Unless they're like Choice Scarf or something like that. All right. 
<laughs> Let's just go. I'm straight away going for max airstream. No games here. Airstream it up. So once again, just for anyone that just came here, this is an adamant nature Charizard. So it's not quite fast as it normally would be with uh, with Jolly. But um, after one, uh, plus one, it's, it's, it's pretty fast then. It's pretty fast then. Let's hope they don't Dynamax their way, Lord. Okay. I called this high YouTube because I thought this would be like one of the easiest sweeps to get. Okay. Waylord is going to faint. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. So that's a plus one in uh, speed right there. So we're pretty well set up now. I, I think we outspeed the entirety of the other team. I'm just trying to think what else they could do. They have a Ribombi that could have a Sash. All right, Inteleon. So I've got Max Lightning here for Inteleon, which will be super effective. And I've also got Max Airstream. I think I'm going to go for Max Lightning here. And it'll be G-Max Inteleon too, I think. Oh, yeah, I, I, I chose not to go with a rare, shiny orange Charizard. All right, here we go. It's a, it's a double G-Max. It's a double G-Max. Beautiful. I, I, I sort of... I, I, I knew that Inteleon would come out eventually, right? It's, it's on top of its little sniper tower. I still like this one the best out of all three of, of the starters. This looks better. Will I outspeed? I should. Yep, there's the Max Lightning. This should take it out. And Inteleon is down. That is two Pokemon down. And they have lost their G-Max Pokemon. So there's four left now. Four left. I've got one more turn of a G-Max left as well. I wonder if I'm going to be able to use G-Max Wildfire here. I haven't even used my uh, G-Max move yet. Mm. I mean, this should be it. Oh, Flamara. It's just a Flareon. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've got Airstream again, or I've got Max Lightning. Uh, I think it would just go Airstream again, yeah? Let's just do Airstream. Boom. So I didn't even get to use G-Max Wildfire. That's okay, though. We've got we've got some good quality bloopers. So let's go for the uh, G-Max Airstream. Oh, sorry, the, just the Airstream on the Flareon, and then the Flareon is going to go down. Okay, that's three Pokemon down now. Bye-bye, Flareon. So half the team has now been wiped. Why not a shiny Charizard? You know, I just wanted to go for the normal one. I, I should have I should have dug deep and gone for that rare shiny um, orange Charizard. Okay, so we've got... I've got Flame Charge here. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Flame Charge here. So I, try, I tried to give it weak moves as well. I gave it... Dual Wing V and Flame Charge. So here we go. Let's see. Uh, Flame Charge should be able to take it out. That plus six. All right. Bonk. All right. That's down. Bye-bye. What else is left? What else is left? There's Ribombi and something else. That's four Pokemon. Hmm. What's Lamalex? Oh, Shinotic. I see, Shinotic. Okay, well... I'm just trying to think what all... This wouldn't have a Sash. I, I doubt this would have a Sash. Or maybe I should go Dual Wingbait. The only thing about Dual Wingbait is it's got 90% accuracy. Hmm. Effect Spore would be like the only thing I'd be worried about here. But like, Effect Spore ain't gonna... Ain't gonna like, that's not gonna be Effect Spore. Okay, Flame Charge. All right, Lamalex is down. I right, got that speed boost there. Oh, thank goodness. I thought Effect Small was going to kick in and put me to sleep or something like that. Okay, the last Pokemon now is the Rubombi. And that's the sweep with the Charizard. Bad and Elby. Wait, ba Band Elby. Okay. All right. Well, let's finish with the dual wing beat and get the dub. And Rebombi is down. Well, there you go. There is the Charizard sweep. We failed the first time, but we got it the uh, second time there. Little Timmy beat us before, but we came back and got the dub there in the end uh, with uh, Charizard. Thank you, Simon, for the battle, whoever you are. And let's get some high YouTubes in the chat right there. Probably one of the more easiest sweeps to do, but I did give it... I, I tried to give it, like, low base power moves like Flame Charge and Dual Wing Beat. So I didn't give it, like, a stronger moves than that there 
Um, I will go over what my set was there. It was pretty, it was pretty simple. Um, it was max speed, max attack. I did give it adamant nature for some um, higher damage output. And in that team, right, they did have, like that Intellion would have beat my Charizard there, right? If I wasn't able to get a plus one in speed. So I had a flame charge for speed and I also had uh, airstream. But say I couldn't airstream, right? And I had flame charge for speed. Like I, I use belly drum, right? But, and then I had plus six in attack. So I thought, okay, well, my opponent's got a faster Pokemon that's going to come in here and take it out, right? So I should go flame charge first. Uh, dual wing bear is the strongest. Uh, no, the strongest gets is acrobatics. Um, you can go like, uh, put a, a berry on there and go, or just anything and go acrobatics, right? Peachy, thank you for the pride for five months. Loving the content, Ben. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, but that's pretty much it. The item I gave was Bright Powder, so I had a chance to get the Bright Powder uh, off right there. But uh, yeah, that's the Charizard Sweep. Hope you enjoyed it. Pretty easy to get the Charizard Sweep. I think I've done quite a few Charizard Sweeps on YouTube. I've done the Charizard Y, X, uh, Mega, like both of, the, both of those ones, and I've done the G Max too. And I've done a normal Charizard too, and I've done Charmeleon and Charmander. So. I don't know whether I'll be doing any other uh, Pokemon sweeps of the Charmander line ever again, but um, that's all of them well and truly done. So all I've got left now is Meowth G-Max. Uh, we've got Appleton G-Max and I've got Hatterene G-Max. And that that's basically it for the G-Max sweeps. If you are watching this one on YouTube too and you enjoyed the video, make sure you come and check me out on Twitch. Uh, the link is in the description of the video. Twitch TV slash uh, PipNightYT. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>